start this, I would like to get some viewpoints from you. What do we understand by music? Just a quick responses. I don't want any definition. Refresh your mind. It refreshes mind, yeah. It has some tune, some little. Oh, tune, Pleasant, pleasant sound, right? Yes, yeah. So something which is pleasant, you know, which is good to listen to. And something which is a little melodic. Do you agree? Yeah. yeah. So if there is something melodic, we call it music. So that's how we relate, you know, a cuckoo to be a singing bird. It doesn't sing Raghupati Raghav, does it? <laughs> no. But it has some pleasant sound that it produces, right? A cuckoo produces pleasant sound. And that's pleasant for all of us. So we call it a musical bird. Senses, right. So music has to be all love pleasure. That's how music became, you know, also a mode of entertainment. The techniques, how we can produce better sound, right? You can have to sit here again. I would not uh, let you go without hearing him because he's an amazing singer. He can produce beautiful sound. So, uh, yes, we will take up three techniques first, okay? So we have three techniques how we produce beautiful sound, right? And it's not just, you know, when we talk, modulation is a very important aspect of communication, right? And that's how we express the sense of punctuation when we write. We don't say, are you eating food, question mark. We don't say like that, right? We ask questions and it is understood through intonation, modulation. So. In music, we need that modulation. And we it has to be a conscious effort. It should not be random. And for any good singer or any singer, they do it consciously or unconsciously, but they do it very skillfully, even if the person is not trained. So this particular production of sound is very important for any performer for any singer and even as a listener if you are educated you would become a better listener right because we have two types of listening active listening and just common listening so you can be an active listener so let me give you uh, three techniques how you do it because we don't have much time with us now did you ever hear somebody saying Koi gana si Gana, ye gana sikhte hue sune kisi ko? Gurus would say, "Peer se gao, peer se gao." Huh? Peer se gana kya hota hai? Peer mein to gur gur hota hai, book lekhne se. Book lekhti hai to hoti hai na? Ha, to peer se gana kya hota hai? When people say that deep breathing, what do you mean by deep breathing? Abdomen breathing. We call it alpha breathing also. Because when you see a child sleeping, you see when we breathe in, what happens when we breathe in? The abdomen goes out. Usually we do the opposite. But this is the ideal way how we do it. And we, when we breathe out, when we exhale, the abdomen goes in, squeezes in. Right? So, peed se gana kya hota This is what I'll tell you first. Khul ke gana. We say with open voice when you sing. Usually, you see among the folk singers, they sing in full voice, right? Chilla ke gaate hain. Acha lagta hai sunne mein, na? Agar sur mein gaao to you feel good, right? And what is controlled breathing? Ye bhi ek technique hai. This particular we call it chest breathing, and we also have nasal breathing. So we will take these three breathing techniques. One is Abdomen. Yes, abdomen breathing. Second, chest. chest. Third, nasal. So let's do this activity. Are you ready? Okay. You like to be an observer. Okay, great, great. So can you all see me? <coughs> you are in a good position. Yeah, you have to sit like this. Since we are all full, we have yeah, we have had a breakfast. So. 
it's okay, it's better, it's ideal if we are not that heavy after having food or heavy food. So if we are full, doesn't matter because it won't uh, harm you. But it's better if we are, uh, yeah, empty stomach. Mm -hmm. So when we sit here, we should sit straight. Let's sit straight first. Yeah. And as we all know that music began with monosyllabic tunes, right? Tone, I call it. So this, that's why you would see that most of the shlokas would have na 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 Not many tunes, not very complicated. So we sit straight and we put the right palm here on the chest and the left one here on the abdomen. Please put it straight like this, yeah. Yeah, like this, straight. Yeah. And now, let me put my feet down because you can see me. I want you to feel that whenever you deep breathe, when you, whenever you take the full breath, what happens? Try to do it. So you see you rise up, right? This is not the right technique. You should not rise up. You should not move. That's the actually um, check meter. You put your hand here and make sure that your chest doesn't move. The chest does not move. Only this portion, the belly moves up and in and out. Okay? So when you breathe in, your abdomen swells. So you can see the hand moving up. You can see, observe me. See. Hold. Can you see me? So the hand moves out and hand moves in, right? When we breathe in, the hand moves out. That means the abdomen swells. So it goes out. So when we breathe out, the hand goes in. Can you see me? I want you to do that five times, slowly. And your chest, the hand on the chest, it should not go in and out. Or like this. You should not do like this. You should, apparently you should seem unmoved. Only your hand would go in and out. Okay? So deep, one, two, three, stop. In. Hold, out, in, hold, and out, in, hold, and out. I can see good response from many of you. It might not be that easy initially, but you have to produce some sound now. How? See, actually you did not put your hand on the chest. It's only, not even on your abdomen. It's in the very beginning for your understanding so that you feel that you are doing right. That's the only requirement. You put your hands on the chest and on the abdomen. Otherwise, it's not required. When you are adept at doing this, you need not require to, uh, putting your hands on the chest and on the stomach. Right? So, what we do now is we produce sound. How? We breathe in, take the full air, and then we produce sound like this. Ah. 
Yes. So instead of a, if you could do o, mm. this has three syllables, right? A, o, and <coughs> no. So nasal, we have all the three, right? <coughs> How? <coughs> oh. Oh. 
right? Now control of breath is not just like slow cycling. Slow cycling is difficult, you know. When we ride cycles, it's very difficult. When we learn it in the initial days, just when we learn it, we try to paddle very fast in order to balance, right? So slowing down is very difficult. So for us also, as a singer, when you produce beautiful sound, it's very difficult to control because it shakes, the voice shakes. Now you see in one breath, how consciously you can sing. I'll give you the seed. You can grow your own plant. Sarega. See, in one breath I'm singing three notes. Consciously I'm doing. In one breath, I'll sing two notes. Sare. Two notes. I'll sing five notes. Sa -re -ga -ma -pa. <clears throat> now the entire sapta. Sapta means octave. Sa -re -ga -ma -pa -re. Sa -re -ga -ma -pa Target to complete the entire cycle. Arohan and Avrohan. What is Arohan? Rising up. Sa, De, Ga, Ma, Pa, Dha, Ni. This is called Arohan. Yes. Sa, Ni, Dha, Pa, Ma, Ga, Re. This is Avrohan. Yes. In Carnatic, uh, instead of Re, they said Re. Sa, Ni, Ga, Ma, Pa, Dha, Ni. Okay? That's the only difference. And we all know that Sa means Sharaj. Rain is Risha, Ga is Gadha, Ma, Madhyam, Pa, Mancham, Dha, Haivar, Ni, Nishar, and Sargen, Sharaj. Okay? So these are the, like you have pet names, Sare Gama is like the pet name. We use the symbols. Right? So, this is called control breathing. Can we do it? Let's take five notes. We have some with, okay, my God, time is over here. Yeah. So let me tell you how to do nasal and chest sound. We don't have time. Are you enjoying, by the way? Yes. yes. Really? Yeah. I wish we have time. So it's very, uh, if we go in depth, so we get to see how notes are, you can scan the notes. And you can see how notes are magical. See, five notes in one word, breath. And this is something, this is an exercise where you don't cheat because this is something you're doing it for yourself, right? This is self-introspection. Often when we sing, we, some, we ask someone, Kya sa hua? How did I sing? So ask yourself, you're the best judge, you can do it. So, you know, finding a mirror before you is very, very difficult but it's very important because that's how you can satisfy yourself, see? Consciously you breathe out. Okay? Try it again. Practice in a 
You can use the different other vowels, something like re, e, 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 